Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. Now I'm going to be speaking about Fiverr and everything that has to do with Fiverr. I'm going to use seven accounts and I mean seven sellers accounts to explain everything that has to do with Fiverr and I'm going to do it under 12 minutes. I'm watching my time but what I want you to take away from these are the five main important thing that is needed on Fiverr. So either you are beginning now or you are a pro this is the five things that matter. Let me show you the five. So I'm going to use these to tell you what the answers are using people's live events. This is service. When you're on Fiverr, most people don't know service is the main important thing. A lot of people are looking for keywords, are looking for how to do thumbnails, but the service you render determines if you're going to be successful or not. When I started on Fiverr, I was doing voiceover. I didn't sell much. And then I was selling some funny softwares. I also did not sell at all. And now, while I moved away my services to something important or something people use on a daily basis, my sales skyrocketed and I started making tons of money. So service is the first thing. And I will explain everything using these uh, live examples. We also have keywords, which is the number two important thing. These five things are the most important. I'm telling you, thumbnails, description, and price. I have a full tutorial about these and how you are to set up, but that I'm releasing tomorrow, uh, hopefully, but I'm just saying, look at how people are going to fall into the temptation of not following these five rules. That is the main and only rule on Fiverr. You can imagine I did not add traffic to it. And the reason for that is Fiverr generates its own traffic. It's only when you have issues that you have to look for traffic externally. But now let's go straight into these. Like this video if you are new here. And subscribe to this channel if you are extremely new. <laughs> okay. The very first person I'm looking at is Graphics247. By the way, they gave me the chance to do this. They sent me their links uh, via a group on WhatsApp, and that's why I'm critiquing. So anything I say, I don't mean to hurt anyone. I'm just saying this so that we can benefit from it. And if you fall under any of these categories as well, please change whatever you do to what I'm going to recommend right in this tutorial. Look at this person from June 2021. The first thing that came to mind, and I'm seeing this practically for the first time, is look at this. I will do passive ad copy to make sales for your Xmas niche. What's that? This is January. What's Xmas? <laughs> so this is wrong. You don't niche down to a particular time, except you just took in that in as maybe uh, maybe you have a client or something. It, it doesn't even add up. On no occasion should you streamline to a particular time. Otherwise, nobody's going to be looking for Xmas. That means you're not going to rank. And that's the end of it. So this is a no-no. And then look at it. I told you, I said the very first thing you have to look at is your service. Look at this. Design barcode. The barcode is free online, although it's low competition. But you, you've forgotten that anytime we do low competition gigs, a lot of people now see that it's low and everybody rushes to it. That's the downside of YouTube. Because as soon as I say, oh, barcode is low competition, look at it, it's 200. Look at it in the next two days. It's going to go to like 500 because like 200 people would have rushed to it. So that's why if it's not something that has skill, if it's low competition and it's easy to do, then you might not rank. That's the problem of this. You see how tricky this is. Also, this person says, I will do product label, brand, packaging, and design. This is good. This particular one is good. The only problem is the competition air is very heavy. You know, I'm not going into details, but if I go into details off my head, I know that anything that has to do with brand labeling and graphic design is always very heavy. You have to be top-notch. Your profile picture is not the best. I told you when you need a profile picture, make a profile picture from like a studio. Do a professional uh, picture. You don't want to see someone like this and you trust the person. I'm going to go into details with all the tutorials tomorrow and show you how it looks. When somebody sees you this way, how sure are you they will trust you, especially with branding. You see, you see uh, the, the metrics there. So that's uh, not a good one. And then we look at description because description is a major part. Apart from your main description, even the description of each profile matters a lot. Because now if I go details into uh, graphics 247 and I do, I'll do a product label. Now this is the product itself. Now let's see what the person said. Uh, have you been seeking for fashionable premium? Like I said, do not ask questions. What if I'm not? A lot of people make this error because maybe we do copy and pasting or we've not learned about copywriting. Please, if you don't know how to do copywriting, learn it. I'll leave it in the description below and I know I'm going to leave that of today so that you can see copywriting. 
Anytime you ask this question, you just face out people who are not asking the question. And they will not continue reading. Can you imagine I'm trying to look for somebody to help me up with my packaging and maybe I'm a high-end brand? You're not speaking to one person. It's to anybody that comes to you and you said, have you been seeking for a fashionable premium? It's like, no, I've not been seeking. That's the end of it. It just tops out. Remember, Fiverr shows you to like, uh, shows like 100 people to just one person to buy. So you don't have all the time in the world to do this. There is a way we write descriptions and I'm going to treat that tomorrow, like I said, so that you will know how to do this. But for the purpose of today, if this is what it is, those are things you have to change. Just make sure you like this video so that you can get that of tomorrow as well. Now let's go to number two. Beautiful. I think I like this. I like the fact that you are looking professional. That's the number one thing. And as you can see, last review is three days ago. You see how this works. It usually looks as if it doesn't work until it works. Just a bit of extra effort will let your fiber skyrocket. Okay. So look at this person. I like the look and everything. Very fantastic. And I move myself to cover your look. <laughs> and then I see, I write articles on health, microbiology, biology. I like that. I write articles on it. Oh, you are repeating these. This is not good. You are competing against yourself. I don't know where you got this from, but this is not good for the algorithm anywhere in the world. You have to delete this or remove it or change it to something else. You, you are wasting this real estate. This particular one could have given you some other impressions that would have brought people to your gig. This is wrong. You can't put the same uh, title. I do plagiarizing, free writing, and assignments. You are practically saying the same thing along the same line. Don't do this. You have to go to a different niche that can bring new people to you. Otherwise, the same person looking for you when he sees this, he sees this, he sees this, he's he going to see you as the same thing. Moreover, what are these written on your thumbnail? Your thumbnail is good in person, but remember thumbnail has a rule. It's three element rule. A thumbnail has three element rule. You can't just write things on this way. This is not good. Everything you've written, I can't even read them. Something and pen, something here, something we can see it. And this is the same thing. You see what I'm seeing now is what clients will see when they come to your page. So they can't even read what you wrote on your thumbnail. And then they are reading the same thing you said they should read. And this this is off. The image as background is off. You have to maintain status quo. It's always like that. And then I always advise there's no need opening seven. You know, as a beginner or uh, what do they call them? Seller one? No. Uh, new seller. Let's put it that way. As new seller, you have access to opening seven gigs. Seven. For those of us who are really new, you can open up to seven. But I always advise don't open seven. The reason for that is there are sometimes you might not know that there is a juicy something somewhere that will pop up one of these days. Now you have wasted everything because even now if you delete this, you have to start from the beginning which it will take time for algorithm to remove you from these settings and then put the new one. Instead of that, just let yourself be so that immediately you put a new one, it can kick off and start moving. I think that's what I see here. And then you say, I love to use my knowledge to help people. Help people. I like the fact that you're talking about helping, but then everybody coming on here will want to pay you. So what do you mean by helping people? I can't pay you and you say you're helping me. That's not help. So that as well, you have to look at it. I'm multi-talented, I'm a very good plagiarism SEO. Okay, this is fair enough, but there is a rule for this as well. I'll teach that tomorrow, like I said. And that's that's okay. I like the fact that you are niched down. You see, anybody teaching microbiology or biology, this is specific. They're going to be looking for you. You might not have so many others, but you have dedicated others. Because whoever has an assignment, that's another one. You can use assignment. I would help you do... Okay, you already put assignment here. On assignments on microbiology, biology, you can do that. That is better because assignment now is a keyword. Different. You know, I've not done... Uh, due diligence to this, assuming I'm going to keyword research on this and I have to go deeper, I can spend like two, three hours looking for what works on here. And I'm going to leave in the description the keyword research. How to do keyword research for Fiverr. Very important because the first one, remember, is your service. You need to understand that service is good because when you have a good service, then you can go after the keywords before you even start learning about thumbnail or how to write description and how to set your pricing. Okay, now the next person here. Okay, I just went deeper into it. I opened that. Okay, it's it's plainer here. Like I can see everything, but it's still even near. It's still extremely near. Then it's too small. I'm using uh, a desktop, a laptop now. Imagine if I was scrolling on my phone. How would these things be? And it's this thumbnail that attracts anybody first before they come into reading whatever you have to offer. So please look into that. Very important. We have McDonald and Yan W. Okay. Fair enough. And as you can see, your uh, picture is blurry. 
That's a no-no. Turn off. Very blurry. Your last delivery was two months ago. I like the fact that you are responding very well, which means you mean business. But this one, I will pattern bulk. Look, look at this now. It's neither here nor there. Most of us think people that order on Fiverr, they just order us from our gig. No. Anytime they see your gig, they're still going to come to your home page. This they will come to. I wish you have this eat, uh, eat, uh, uh, what's it called? Extension. There is an eat extension that lets me know. Uh, okay, maybe I'll teach. I don't teach that in the free YouTube. I, I teach that in the classes. That eat extension, when you apply it to your own uh, Fiverr, is going to tell you where people are clicking the most on your pages. So if they are clicking here, you know they are clicking here. So you can know that why are they clicking and not ordering? Then you can use that to rectify. You know, if they are clicking here, clicking your thumbnail, whatever they are clicking, you see. It's an hit. Um, uh, it's, a, it's something you use as it. Sorry, I'm blabbing. I'm, I'm a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> so my brain, I think, is faster than my mouth now. But I want you to change your... Look, look. All this, it looks like something you did on your phone. All these images are blurry. They are not well positioned. I am... What's this at the back of this? I don't even know what to say again. Please change all these thumbnails. They don't do justice to you at all. And just like I, my practice, when I see something wrong in your gig, I just correct one and I move to the next one. You see how you still look here? It doesn't look right. Your thumbnails are no, no. And this is Ushna Chibas. When I opened your page, I didn't see any gig. Uh, you, you said you wanted me to critique this, but there is nothing. You say I'll write an original article. The problem is most of us don't take time to go through the tutorials I've made on all of these. You should go through them so that at least you would have immense knowledge about it. And then I dig deeper to you to search and look at this. I saw this gig in truth, but it's on old, meaning five are already private. It's not to the public. And now you might be thinking you are waiting for orders. Where is the order? Nobody's going to see you. You are not available. You are on old. So go back again and reactivate this gig and then follow all I've said. You can't put thumbnails like this. It doesn't add up. I'm just saying this is not, it won't give you all the best. Uh, your profile picture is cool, but please just change these and then maybe do a bit of keyword research. Then be sure you have, you have seven gigs to make. At least make like three or four of different varieties that can bring in traffic to you. That's really important. Okay, we have Lura Graphics. Lura Graphics is also from Nigeria. This is our remove background image. This is like way overdue. People had overflogged this. It's no longer a gig that is valuable. Everybody in the world knows Canva does this, so just forget about it. <laughs> you don't want to waste this real estate. Do something that clients really need, that they can't do on their own. Not something that is free online, that everybody can use. Even if you eventually get one or two orders, it's not going to be sustainable. Try and waste your effort on something that can keep producing over and over. Not one thing that will just give you $5 today and then under eight months, nothing is coming. That's not it. I will ask 100-year-old witch to cast a lost spell on you. <laughs> Lura Graphic. You are a graphic designer by your name. And what are you doing with which? <laughs> this is interesting. Now this is, in, this is like you are crossbreeding it. You can't say you are a graphic designer and you are doing which spell. Nah. I'm sure you are looking for low content or low competition. Don't be fooled by it. I told you the first point is service. It's not competition or anything. You need to be sure of what you can do and what you can do perfectly. I've already made the class. It's not like I just want to... Okay, let me give you a peep into it so that you see. Look at service here. Because I'm making this full tutorial tomorrow, so I was just typing out now. So this is what you offer. It's the first thing. Then the gig type and service type. Then you have to rate your skill. I will explain all this better tomorrow. I'm just giving you a peep into it, uh, you know, if you are here. But I'm telling you, do not just waste your time trying to do what will not work by crossbreeding yourself. You can't be a graphic designer and do this. Then look at this. I will proof it and edit your content or document. So what shows you are a graphic person here? None. This completely shows that this person does not really know much or is a beginner. And you won't get others. It's as, it's as, it's as good as that. And look at this. Look, look at how contrasting this is. Professional editor with over five years experience. Professional editor with five years experience. And then you are doing proofread and edit. Now, look at this. So, you're not doing anything, basically. You will proofread and edit. Proofread and edit your content. Which content? Video, audio. You didn't indicate that. There are lots of flaws here. And the funniest thing is these clients know everything. And if you are good at speaking this number of English, of course, then you they know you should know better than 
something like this. So at the end of the day, you might not get uh, orders. And I'm looking, and look, your, your skill is graphic design, logo design, flyer design, and there is absolutely nothing like that here. I'm critiquing you like a client. I'm telling you this is, a, oh, this is what clients go through. Nobody wants to throw away their money or waste their time. You know, a lot of us think, after all, if they don't like my order, they can cancel. But what about the time? Maybe I have a blog post I want to post. Maybe I have uh, a video I want you to edit. I don't want to give you 10 days and then I come back to you say I'm canceling. That's a lot of work and stress for me. You see that? So please, and even your, uh, look, I like your profile picture more than what you use there. Look at the way you are a graphic designer, Laura, and then look at your graphics on your thumbnail. <laughs> nah, it's a capital no. Okay, and I'm not still your member, not like I'm trying to pay. You can imagine somebody who wants to pay how critique is going to be. Excellence cannot be bought, cannot be cheapened. It's always important we know that. This is Imovam, okay? I write articles and work on any Microsoft Word office. Okay, I don't know what that means. I'll professionally and accurately proofread. Let me read that. Proofread and edit. You said, accurate proofread and edit your work. Which type of work? Okay, content creation. Now, content creation is different from when you're proofreading and editing. It's different. Article writing and topic are issues. Proofreading and editing, article writing is not there. Slide presentation is not there. You see, you just wrote an headline and wrote three different things on the bottom of it. Probably you don't even know what these ones are. It's no. That's not how it is. And then you start by introducing yourself. There is no introduction here. This is a marketplace. Do, have you ever gone to a market, and I mean local market, and you want to buy purple, and then the person that is coming to buy purple from you say, hi, and then you go there and say, hi, my name is, because he wants to buy purple from you. That's exactly what you're doing. I told you online and offline is the same. That's exactly what you're doing. You don't need to explain um, this and that. Just go straight to it. I'm going to teach all of this tomorrow. I hope this helps a bit. But then, like I said, I'm going to leave this playlist there. It's a fiber playlist. Everything here is fiber. If you jump on it, you see series of, uh, you know, topics that are treated there. You can choose the one that uh, is palatable to you. And join tomorrow, basically, because tomorrow this is going down. Subscribe and have a great day.